New at 6, a Bobby Dune man jumped into action to help his neighbors during the CZU Lightning Complex fire. He lost his own home in the process. Today, though, his life has turned around thanks to a very special and a very unexpected gift. More from Action News 8 reporter Phil Gomez. What started as a hub with sharing of information during the CZU Lightning Fire has grown into a relief effort for fire survivors. Paul Gabriel helped save his neighbors' homes, but there was very little he could do to rescue his own. You know, I was able to get my cat and, and a couple things. The RV was a surprise gift that he wasn't expecting. He was told a friend needed help with his truck. Uh, not worthy. <laughs> sort of, you know, one of those sort of moments. Um, you know, I feel like I'm a normal guy doing the best I can. Um, but I'm, I'm a little bit speechless with all this. Volunteers with SC Relief partnered with James Faircloth's emergencyrv.org, which has provided emergency and transitional housing to fire survivors throughout the country. He has gifted or donated the use of many RVs since the campfire in 2018. I think there are close to 100. And um, so he ran this through his nonprofit because uh, Santa Cruz Relief is not a nonprofit. So we partner with many nonprofits. Gabriel plans to rebuild the home that his family moved to 60 years ago. But until he gets the okay, a neighbor will let him keep it on their property. You know, this gentleman stayed back even though his house burned, he lost everything. He stayed back for seven days and saved his neighbor's homes. His girlfriend, who's a firefighter, was on the front lines protecting homes. Without Paul, we wouldn't have saved my house. So I'm very appreciative and um, just want to do all I can to help this guy. Gabriel can keep the RV until he rebuilds or finds a new home. Then it'll be returned to emergency RV where it will be put to use for another homeless disaster survivor. It's neighbor helping neighbor and Santa Cruz Relief plans to continue that effort during the debris flow evacuations. In Santa Cruz County, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.